What's up guys, I'm Mighty Gamer here. In today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about the drip feed content that Rockstar has added into the Smuggler Run DLC. So as you all should know by now, Smuggler's Run DLC came out about 10 hours ago, and like the last couple of DLCs, there's been some unreleased vehicles that Rockstar will be drip feeding to us over the next couple of months. So all the images I'm about to show you are from Foxy Snaps, link in the description below to his Twitter. So mainly the images will be off the sale page and the prices are included in the picture. So we'll start off with Warstock. So the first vehicle is the P996 Laser, $6.5 million. Now this vehicle has been in game since day one, but they're making it so you can buy it and customize it. The next vehicle is a GTA Classic and it's the FH1 Hunter, $4.1 million. The next vehicle is the P45 Nokara, and it is for $2.6 million. And then the next vehicle is one of a kind vehicle. It is the Batmobile, known as the Vigil Anti, and it's $3.7 million. The next vehicle is the Pyro, and it's $4.4 million. The next vehicle is the Mogul. Now this vehicle is in game, and it is in the first Smuggler's Run mission. But when it does come out, it'll be $3.1 million. And the next plane they'll be coming out, and it's a pretty big plane. It's called the Bombushka, and that will be $5.9 million. So now on Legendary Motorsports, there's also two new vehicles to come. So first is the Dubashi Rapid GT Classic for $800,000. And then the second car is the Coil Cyclone for 1.8 million dollars and that is an electric car and then the last two vehicles are on elitist travel the first one is the howard nx25 and it's 1.2 million dollars and then the last vehicle to come out with this dlc is the sea breeze and it's 1.1 million dollars so we've got a little bit more information from foxy snaps he tweeted this says release order so warstock is the bombushka Mugu, Pyro, Vigil Anti, Nakuda, Hunter, Laser. Legendary Motorsports is the Rapid GT Classic. And then the Cyclone. Elitist Travel is the Howard and then the Sea Breeze. But the thing is, is either Warstock will come first, Legendary Motorsports will come first, or Elitist Travel. It might not come in this order here, but it will come in our order. But either the Bombushka, GT Classic, or the Howard will be the first vehicles to come out next week. So thank you for Foxy Snaps for letting me use his images and information. I'll leave a link in the description below to his Twitter. I'm also planning on having some gameplay up on my channel later on, showing off these vehicles. And then tomorrow I'll even be showing off the customization of these vehicles. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and please subscribe.